Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to go in great detail and talk about how you can actually increase your sales the proper way. Now there's a lot of elements that you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about increasing your sale and selling online. And one of the major factors is getting the right methodology and the right strategy correct to ensure that you can actually scale your business and takes it to height that no one has known before. Now one of the things that a lot of organization enterprises tend to do is that they focus on something called UTM parameters. Parameters. Now, UTM parameters are the basic cornerstones for increasing your sales. And obviously, with a lot of development tools available online, you can really get those methodologies right and ensure that you can really get the sales increase. Now, one of the main things that I always recommend to individuals understand the dynamics and the niche that they want to get into. And it's for that reason we are making all these amazing videos for you guys, which are available on our channel. So you can always head over there and check them out. Now, as you can can see this is a Google Analytics tools with a campaign URL builder. Now this tool actually allows you to easily add campaign parameters to your URL so you can measure the custom campaigns in Google Analytics and you need to enter the website's URL and the campaign information. For example, over here you'll put the full website URL and with the campaign ad ID, the referral for example, it's a Google, is a newsletter, what kind of element it is, the marketing medium that you want to focus on and the campaign name that you want to do and you need to identify the paid keywords that you're going to include in your campaign and you can use it to differentiate the ads as well. Now more examples of parameters are given over here in below. For example, you have the campaign ID parameters, the campaign medium parameters and obviously once you combine all those the relationships together, you can clearly see that you can easily increase the element over here. Now obviously these are the different UTM IDs, UTM sources, UTM mediums, the UTM campaigns and the UTM terms. Now all of these are the unique elements that you need to make sure that you develop and use because just using marketing elements using advertisement and actually doing digital marketing is not as simple and straightforward as it seems there's a lot of complex individuality that is included in the back end of it and once you understand that element it is only then that you would be able to actually take matters to the next level and use the digital marketing in your favor and develop a methodology and a strategy that can help you raise your sales. Now, once you've done it, you need to check out the dimensions and the metric explorer. Now, the dimension and metric explorer list that describes all the dimension and metrics available through the core reporting API. Now, the dimension and metric explorer has two major features, guys. The first one is that it explores all the dimension and metrics. So you can search or browse by group, select the dimension or metric for additional details such as descriptions and attributes, and you can even identify valid combinations. Now, not all dimension guys and metrics are queried together and that is something that you need to understand once you enter this particular niche and obviously when you look at the fundamentals of strategic marketing that is the basic quantity that you need to keep in mind when you're developing a very good methodology to actually implement and only certain dimensions and metrics can be used together to create a valid combination Now, this is very important for you to understand guys because the dimension and metrics that are used together can only create valid combinations and you can can select a dimensions of metrics and checkboxes to see all the other values that can be combined in the same query. Now you see all these elements over here. Once you click on the plus sign, you will expand the dimensions and the metrics. Now, obviously in combination of these, you can really generate the element that you're looking for. And that's one of the things I always mention to individuals that when you're looking at users, you need to understand the user types, the count of sessions, the days last sessions, the user identified and defined value as well as the user user bucket. Now, once you have a website, once you have a landing pages, these are the basic fundamentals that you need to integrate. For example, if you look at the social integrations, now in the social integrations, there are different dimensions and metrics. For the metrics, you got social actions, you got unique social actions, and you got actions per social sessions. That literally means that whenever someone comes onto the landing page, what kind of fundamentals are they actually carrying out? And obviously those actions have results and that's results are needs to be identified and quantified and once you're able to quantify those results and it's only then you can actually develop a strategy which is not only effective but efficient at the same time where you can easily increase your productivity and decrease unproductive
productivity from your website. So you can ensure that the conversion rates that you have that come onto your through and up your website are done in a proper way. And that is the reason I always mention to individuals to include the dimensions and metric explorer. If you look at the enhanced commerce, which I personally feel is very unique and needs to be understood in its completeality to ensure that you can really enhance and use this particular methodology is the fact that this is a e-commerce application with a complete implementation of the enhanced e-commerce. And obviously this demonstration shows an understanding of the enhanced code works and what is required to implement it on your own site. Now, every action comes with a code sample showing exactly what the feature is implemented. And the sample has a code for the Google Tag Manager and the enhanced e-commerce that is a plugin for the analytics.js. Now, as you can see then as an example, you have add to the cart, which is crucial for you to understand because the main element over here is the fact that as you bring together these elements together, you can ensure that they can develop something that is truly out of this world and unique at the same time. Now, once you've developed it, you need to head over to the spreadsheet add-on. Now, this is the Google Analytics spreadsheet add-on and it makes it easier for Google Analytics users to access visualized shares and manipulate their data in the Google spreadsheet. Now, as you can clearly see that the full breakdown from this week's for the total results for the results breakdown is given over here. And when you can visually see exactly what is happening on your website and what is happening in the actual platform, that is the only time that you can make sure that you can actually enhance and actually make sure that you can say increase your sales. And that is one of the crucial things that if you want to increase your sales, you need to understand the different metrics and the dimensions that are required that you can actually use in your favor to help you develop a strategy that is effective and efficient at the same time. If you look at the major organizations in the world right now, one of the major things that they tend to do is they tend to focus on different attributes. They look at different dimensions. They look at different strategies. And obviously, whatever they're selling and the products and the items that they tend to have on their stores, they need to cater for those methodologies. And customization and personalization of those attributes and those metrics are literally the fundamentals upon which the whole principle is built on. When you're able to understand that principle and once you're able to harness that power of those tools, you'll be able to actually grow your sales. We live in a time and period where you have all these elements that have already been developed. So you don't need to go out there and redevelop the wheel. You need to focus on those individuals and those organizations and those enterprises and those tools that are ready to be available in the market for you to use. And only you need to implement those tools onto your websites, onto your drop shipping stores, onto your elements that you can help to get the right information because we live in a time and period where data is the crucial element that can help us understand what kind of effective strategy we need to implement. And once you have the tools such as Google provides, you can ensure that you can get the help that you need. And with the tag assistance, I personally feel that this is a Chrome extension that helps you validate the measurement code on your website and troubleshoot common problem. It's an ideal tool for debugging and testing your analytics.js implementations locally and ensuring everything is correct before deploying your code to the production. And with the tag assistant works by letting you record a typical user's flow, which gives you a good understanding guys. And it keeps track of all the hits that you send, check them for any problems and give you a full report of the interaction. And if it detects any issues or potential improvements, it will let you know. And obviously this has a complete learning methodology that is available. And that is one of the major reasons why we make our videos to give you guys a complete assessment and support that is required to enhance your sales. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always ask them in the comment section down below, and I will be more than happy to help you, support you, assist you, and to guide you. If you like this video, you can always subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Share this video with your friends and with your family so more people can understand the UTM parameters, how to use them, and how to actually develop an effective sales strategy. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.